We have a table for Berlin, one round and four deals game. And we have one uh, black belt to my opposite. And one brown belt to my right. He's a good player to my right. He got his brown belt rather quickly. And the player to my left has just green belt and she has it for some time, so she's not very good. Really, not just an opinion, but an observation. Now, what I can think about in this hand? Something like upper tiles. I have eight now. Eight upper. But I can take some pungs or some chows. That's good, I have 9 already. I'd rather wait for some 8s from the left 8 spams. But I don't think she'll give me anything. I'll take 7 dots. No. Not this. Uh huh. Let's drop this one firstly. But I don't need lower tiles. I can take... I'd rather take pungs. The opposite player possibly collects cracks. So... Can I really hope for cracks? For any cracks. Lower, upper, anything. Two, three, four. This can give me pure straight, you see? Just remove one eight dots and it will be a good hand for pure straight. I need one and five. But, on the other hand, I can collect upper tiles. This is an interesting fork, you see? Between upper four and pure straight. Now it, everything it, everything depends on what I take from the left or from the wall. If I take some good upper tiles, I go for upper. No, honors are useless. If I take one or five dots, I go for pure straight. Five. One five dropped. No ones I can see so far on the table. Seven cracks dropped. Four is useless for me. That's just useless. The player to my right collects something in cracks, possibly, you see? Rather few cracks are dropped on the table now. No, no Kongs, and I don't need five. I'd better wait for something better. Sorry for so many mm, identical words. Yes, Ciao. that's it. That's just ready hand for pure straight. Now I need another 5, maybe the opposite player will drop 5. Or... Hmm. No. The player to my right dropped 6. And he melts another 5. Okay. I hope nobody else needs 5 dots. The player to my left can have some dots, some fives. Let's see. The opposite player doesn't melt, you see? She collects some cracks on her concealed hand. That's interesting. 
three is safe, I believe. Yes, but that pause. Maybe the player to my right collects uh, something like mixed straight. Eight goes to the opposite. No. Hmm, that's interesting. Someone has pair of eights. Someone has pair of eights. Yes. She has possibly seven, eight, nine in her hand. And doesn't need anything else. And this is this is safe. Three. Crax is safe. Okay. That's good. No. Uh-huh. So maybe she needs... No. How she can need one, two, three? If she dropped one and two. Nine can be useful. No. Maybe the, the player to my right already has seven, eight, nine. No, wait, three sevens are on the table. Three sevens are on the table. If he doesn't have seven, eight, nine, then he, uh-huh, yes, he had five, six, seven. He wanted just white or maybe eight from the wall but eight he couldn't take eight from the wall because two eights were dropped mixed straight she collected from the player to my right okay not a very expensive hand not from me so my five didn't play not very good now it's another plan for Charles. Not a very rich hand, so to say, yes. Three, four, five, and bams. I drop useless honors now. Nine, nine may be useful. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, something around it, yes. Maybe I'll take. Uh huh. Yes, I think I'll take seven, eight, nine, and that's. I don't need six, but sorry. I can melt five, six, seven. No, I can melt not this. Hmm. Pair. Six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. 789 maybe it will be with pair of fives, but I don't have fourth set in this case. I need more cracks. More upper cracks. Aha. Uh -huh. This can be my pair. And it can be something like 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7. Let's see. It even can be something like pure shifted chows, but I have too few tiles for it in BAMs. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. I had four pairs, but no, I don't want to go for pairs. I'd better collect some useful tiles from the left. She collects dots, possibly. So she'll give me my bams and cracks, I believe. That's why I want chows. Not pears, no pungs. I just wait for another four bams from her and six bams. Don't hope for nine dots. 
I don't need it really because I need uh, five, six, seven bands. Mm -hmm. So when she begins to drop dots, then she's very close. So if I take six bams from the opposite, it will be good because I'll take some points from the leader. But how can I hope nine is safe because it was dropped right now? Safe against Majong at least, yes. The player to my right couldn't take this chow from his right. Ouch! Very quickly. Very quickly. Where is my six? Where are my sixes? Here and in the wall. Okay, lucky player to my right. Very lucky. So I just need good self. Or something good from him. Now what can it be? It can be something like... Oh, something like mixed straight really, you see? 1, 2, 3 cracks. 4, 5, 6 bams. 7, 8, 9 dots. But... On the other hand, it can be something like... Hmm, can be something like chicken hand. No. Another two. Let's drop this one firstly, as long as I won't need it. Uh, but I take eight dots for seven, eight, nine. And drop another nine. I don't see dragons. Uh huh. I don't see dragons. Maybe I'll collect chicken hen, by the way. It can be just more quick, more quick plan than other hands. No, I don't have dragons. Without dragons, I cannot think about all types. I'd better think about something interesting like... No. Not now, I'd better leave them. Leave them as a pair. One. No. I hope for six bams, but if the player to my left collects bams, I can't hope for bams from here. Seven, okay. I'd better get rid of useless tiles. Maybe I'll take Pang of Two's cracks. One of two cracks. I don't need eight dots, by the way. Yes, let's take it. Mm -hmm. Nobody needs six. That's interesting. And where is my two? Where are my two's cracks? Uh -huh. I don't need, you see? Uh, maybe. Maybe I need six or nine cracks from the left. But if I take it, then I'll be waiting only for two. For two cracks for a punk. Yes, I can't wait on an edge. Okay. 
that's it then I wait for six I can take nine because it will be two terminal chows I can take just six cracks preferably from the right from the leader not from the wall of course and this is not my mahjong it could be just uh, two points you see uh, two terminal chows and self-drawn two points is not good for me and this is also not good for me I hope that the player to my right will just drop this six or anyone else will drop this six maybe the player to my left who doesn't collect cracks hmm the player to my right possibly collects cracks as well looks like it yes i can't wait the opposite player waited for seven And the player to my right waited for two. He was ready for seven pairs. I just spoiled his seven pairs. And I got to the first place, you see. I'm two points ahead of him. Now I need something quick. Faster than him, so I can collect can, can get the table something like mix straight for example yes mix straight one two three bams four five six cracks i need Hmm, no. I need these fives as a pair, as my eyes. I'd better wait for six bands. I'll drop. I can think about mix shifted chows as well. Five, six, seven, and six, seven, eight, and cracks. No, I don't need it. Two, three. No, I don't need two and three. I don't collect one, two, three. Yes, this is dangerous because the player to my right can take. And the opposite player is dangerous as well. Another two, no. Another two. What? How useful can be this two for me? Mm, I can't see how. I hope for something good from. Huh, that's it. Hope for something good from the left. Maybe six dots. Six bands, sorry. Six, six that should be dropped, but I need six bands. The opposite player possibly collects half flush and cracks. Not very good as well. It's better to drop this three firstly. Mm -hmm. Three is safe, okay. I don't think. Five is safe. Eight can be safe, yes. Okay. So I wait for four six cracks. And this Aha, uh -huh, this goes here. Okay, that's nice. I just wait for 
six cracks and what about three I see two threes on the table threes uh, cracks yes but the last one last tile no it won't it will give me nothing. I wait just for six cracks. Mm -hmm. It's safe, I think. The opposite player dropped it. Could drop five, yes. I could drop five, but... What use? Uh, seven. Not very good. Okay. Maybe someone else wait for six. Waits for six. I don't know. Let's hope just for something from the left. If the player to my left drops six, then I'll take it. I'll be the first who can take it. No. Another two. Third two. Okay. As long as ones dropped, threes dropped. I need it as a pair. Yes. That's it. An interesting game. I got to the first place with chicken hand and mix straight. Let's see. The player to my left waited for seven cracks. Yes, she wanted all types. And she knew that sevens are still alive. I dropped once. The opposite player melded once. One of the one of sevens and she waited for another two. Here we can see the player waited for four in a hole in the middle. And the player to my right waited for seven dots. Okay, I just was lucky to win this game where all four players were ready had ready hands. I just luckily took my six. Nobody dropped four for the op for the player to my opposite. Nobody dropped seven dots. Nobody dropped seven cracks. Six cracks was good. She could she could you see the player to my left could drop nine and wait for the same seven and uh, that's what I could do, because uh, she could hold 5 and 6 in her hand. She dropped 5 and she dropped 6, and somewhere waited for 7. That's bad waiting. She could leave this, uh, this 6 cracks and switch to two-sided weight, for example. 5-6, uh, yes, and wait for 4 or 7. But she somehow waited for some way. She some way waited for for seven in an edge. Don't recommend this uh, such waiting to anyone. Okay, thanks all.